Okay, so some interesting news. Uh, Ubuntu Mate 20.04 is now in beta 1, and you can also download uh, a desktop version, so a version with the GUI, uh, straight from Ubuntu. So if you go to ubuntu-mate.org, and then go to Downloads, you'll see that there is a Raspberry Pi 32-bit and a 64-bit version available. Now, uh, in Wimpy's video, uh, he mentioned that if you've got two gig or more, go for the 64-bit. Um, but I've had people with the Desktopify version um, have been complaining about the speed on the lower end Pis, and I don't know if it was just the one gig ones that were suffering. Um, but uh, if you've got a two gig one and you're finding it slow, then maybe you need to try the 32-bit one, uh, and it might run better. So it would be worth a try anyway. But all you do is you just click on it, and 20.04 uh, LTS is the latest version, and basically it boots into a desktop environment. Now, there is no Wi-Fi support at the moment, it seems. Uh, I've got a Ethernet adapter plugged in, and also I couldn't get Bluetooth to work on board, uh, but I've got a Bluetooth adapter plugged in, and that's working fine. Uh, he's worked a lot on the 3D acceleration, and also video is what came from the video. So it's about an hour long if you want to look through it. It's a really interesting um, video because he goes through sort of steps and stages of how he does things. Um, and uh, and you can go on the live chat as well and, uh, and you know, request things and things like that. So he said that this time he's disabled the compositor, which helps streaming video. Uh, and he did a demonstration on the video and I'll have a look at video as well. Also, he went into uh, WebGL demo and uh, said that Chromium was about twice as fast on WebGL. Um, so this doesn't come with Chromium on, on it, but uh, I guess if there's an app store, we can put Chromium on here and have a look. So Software Boutique. So Internet. There you go, Chromium. Install. There you go. So this is the latest one that mentions about those images you can download. And you can write those with Belena Etcher or Raspberry Pi Imager. There you go, so it's this video that you want to look to. Let's just pause that, if you want more information. So queued for installation, once you finish choosing, I need to confirm. So apply changes, I do remember that from the previous version. So before now, uh, you've had the server version and you've had to install uh, Ubuntu or Ubuntu Mate or Ubuntu or whichever one you wanted. I know I say Ubuntu Mate wrong, um, but I always have. So let's just put in our password. And you don't have to unpack the image or anything like that. I downloaded it on my Mac and wrote it with Raspberry Pi Imager and it booted straight into a desktop environment. But you are still going to need, it looks like, I could have this wrong, but you are still going to need an Ethernet connection to do the setup. And then even after that, it doesn't seem to support Wi-Fi at this stage. Uh, but obviously, every week there's new things coming along and he's, and he's working on all sorts of things all the time. So it will happen. Uh, and it is a great piece of software. And also while it's downloading Chromium, the resolution is changeable now. So if I go for, I don't know if it's on this one. No, it's not on the desktop one. So it must be in settings and display. I think it was under, well, let's start, let's type it in there. Yeah, displays. And this you couldn't change before. And also it detects your monitor. Now in the case of mine, it's going through a screen capture device, so it might not detect it properly. Um, but yeah, he did. Actually, he had a lot more uh, resolutions come up on his. Um, but you could, so say you were using it for games, you could drop down to 720. Uh, certainly for emulation, that tends to work a lot better on the Pi. I go more into Ubuntu Mate on, on other videos. This is more just announcing that that download version is available. Right, so Chromium is now installed. Oh, actually, there is something I wanted to mention. So before now, uh, it's been mentioned that when you overclock and apply various different settings, you didn't do config.txt like you do on Raspberry Pi OS. Uh, you did use a config.txt. Now, if I go to boot and firmware, so the user config.txt, I thought, oh, I'll have a look in there and I'll see what changes he's made. And display there's nothing in there but if you go back to config.txt 
all the changes have been applied in here. So if we go down to the bottom, here you go. So uh, things like the overscan to get rid of the black lines, uh, the 3D support, uh, audio, HDMI, GPU memory, all of these fixes have been put in config.txt. So I don't know if that was on purpose or if it, if it's, uh, why it's changed, but um, I previously uh, advised about overclocking and I went in the config.txt, but it did have, yeah, it does say, please do not modify this file. You don't need to modify the config, use the user config.txt. So maybe you are supposed to still use the user config.txt for overclocking. Um, but uh, before I did it in the config.txt, but it does say there, please do not modify this file. Um, but obviously it's your own, your pie, so you know, do it at your own risk. Actually, I think I will um, overclock. Let's shut this down. Okay, so I've restarted in Raspberry Pi OS and I've put my Ubuntu Mate SD card in a USB adapter and into the Pi and you can see it shows up here as system boot. And we have the one we're s that it says we're supposed to use user config.txt. So let's try overclocking in there. Yeah, so let's just paste that in. So over voltage equals six. Actually, I'm gonna go for eight because I've found that it's not as stable at six when it's at 2147 on an eight gig pi, which this is. It tends to be better on uh, a four gig pi, tends to be only over voltage at six, but I'll leave it at eight and the GPU frequency at 750. So let's save that and shut that down and then reboot with our overclocked Ubuntu Mate. Okay, so that's restarted all right. Let's open a terminal and install sudo apt install neofetch. Okay, so that's installed. So let's type neofetch again and we've got 2.2. So yeah, it's picked up the 2147. Uh, so the overclocking does work in the user config.txt. Uh, and I guess that's the one you're supposed to use as it says it in the readme. So let's now, oh, and it shows me here, look, memory, uh, this is the eight gig pi. So let's close that down and let's have a look at something he was looking at in the video, which was, so webglsamples.org, uh, here we are. Aquarium is the one that everybody seems to use. And we've got 500 we're on now, and we've got 11, 12 frames a second. What happens on 100? 15. One fish. <laughs> is it only meant to run at 16 then? A uh, thousand. So a thousand, it's running at about 11, 5,000. Oh, crikey. Okay, so I thought at this point, I'd just have a quick look at my iPad Pro that I'm editing on. And uh, this is a 10.5 iPad Pro 4 gig. Uh, it's an older model now, um, but uh, but still copes really well. And you can see the, the frames per second at much higher scores. Uh, I just thought it was interesting. Uh, it was easy to try, so I thought I'd put it in there. Anyway, let's get back to Linux. What's this here? Looks a bit more like a game. Oh, look at that. So I'm actually doing it within the browser. Okay, the walking's pretty slow, but the movement seems reasonable. Okay, I'll have to revisit that. So let's uh, hit escape and let's get YouTube up and have a look at that. Can't play much of that music, I guess. Can play a lot of that. So let's mute that. Actually, we don't need to mute it, do we? Because it's my video. And let's go here. Oh, I don't know why I didn't make that corner. There's obviously some other button. Actually, I will mute me because I'm talking right. So, and let's go for, so that was 720. Let's see what happens at 1080. Let's hit play on that. Yeah, it doesn't seem like 1080 on the Firefox, uh, unless there's more settings I need to go into and change. 
Yeah, use hardware acceleration. All right, let's try that again. Yeah, I don't know if I have to do anything else. Um, I just, I thought it was going to work straight out of the box. Let's have a look at uh, Chromium anyway. So hardware acceleration is enabled, so that's all right. So let's go to web GL samples. That's the same one. And do the aquarium. So it starts on 503. Oh, that's shooting up there. 21 FPS on 500. That's definitely better. It's a lot smoother. Which he did, which Wimpy did find in his video as well. So I'm still 20 at 1,000. 5,000. That's a big jump, isn't it? Still 11, 12. That's not bad, is it? So let's go down and let's try that that game one. This one. So if I click, oh yeah, it's a lot smoother. Look. Still very slow at walking, but that's a lot smoother. Yeah, completely different. Oh, I can actually go through something, can I? Doesn't know I've got any enemies, or might be. Yeah, this is actually pretty much playable like this. I'm using it on a trackpad, not a mouse. But that's that's definitely a lot better. The movement is much better. Pop the sound on for the advert. I'll just mute it when I'll be talking. There we go. So let's go further in where there's a bit of movement and pop it on 1080. 720 looks like it was playing fine. So there must be something else I need to do uh, that I missed out on the video that's not enabled by default because it's definitely pausing on maybe it's ten because it's 1080 60 and he was playing 1080 uh, 30 FPS because if I drop down to 720 yeah straight away it's fine so let's try H264 if I I just add the first one that comes up add extension. So block 60 FPS. Right, let's try that now. Might have to refresh that page. Or copy it. Pop it in another tab. Close that down. So let's mute me. What's it on now? So it's on 720 still. So let's go straight up to 1080. Yeah, so it doesn't like this. It doesn't like 60 FPS, does it? Because that that's working all right. In fact, let's just unmute that. Yeah, much better. So you still do seem to need H.264 if I uh, or stick to 30 frames per second videos, but that's playing much much better. Anyway, I hope you like this. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.